we present Cloud Transformers, a new type of deep architecture for processing point clouds. In our paper, we present Cloud Transformers for semantic segmentation, for joint classification and background subtraction, for in-painting, and for image-based reconstruction. Note that Cloud Transformers can be used to handle both recognition tasks and generation tasks. The main building block for Cloud Transformers is the cascaded multi-head Cloud Transform block. The cascaded multi-head cloud transform block is just a sequence of three multi-head cloud transform blocks with varying number of channels and spatial resolutions. Each multi-head cloud transform takes the features of the input point cloud X and processes it using parallel heads. Each of the heads transforms the features linearly and rasterizes them over a 2D or a 3D grid. The rasterized features are processed with a convolution, and then derasterized. Finally, each head applies a linear transform to each feature and the results of parallel heads are summed together providing an update to the feature vector of each point. We call the process of rasterization, convolution, and a rasterization the cloud transform. Let us look at the cloud transform in detail. It first takes the last two dimensions of the feature at each point and treat them as the key, which defines the position in the grid. The remaining dimensions are treated as the value vector. The value of each point is assigned to the nearby grid nodes with bilinear or trilinear weights. Such rasterization is performed for all points. We use maximum as the aggregation operator when combining features assigned to a node from different points. We show in the paper that using maximum works much better than using some aggregation. After all features are rasterized, we apply a standard convolution to the rasterized grid resulting in a new tensor. We then perform the rasterization by bilinearly sampling the grid at the key locations. During backpropagation through the cloud transform, we found it important to reweight the partial derivatives over the key dimensions. Without such reweighting, training architectures with multiple cloud transforms becomes unstable. Let us now look at some qualitative results. Here we show the result of semantic segmentation on a scene from S3 GIS dataset. We can visualize the operation of the semantic segmentation by the segmenting cloud transformer. Here on the left, we show the input point cloud colored by the point labels for visualization purposes. We then show the rasterization positions of the input cloud and the subset of heads in one of the early layers of the cloud transformer. We show 3D heads in the top row and 2D heads in the bottom row. As we see, the deformation of the point cloud within this head is limited. And here we show similar visualizations for the penultimate layer of the cloud transformer. The point cloud is deformed in highly nonlinear ways. Note also, how different heads impose rather different geometric transformations bringing different parts of the cloud nearby or far away. Here, we show results of the cloud transformer that takes an unlabeled point cloud and then segments the foreground and assigns the class label. The results are shown for four samples from the scan object and benchmark. Here we show the results of the cloud transformer that reconstructs point clouds from single images. Note that the reconstruction is performed in the image coordinate frame, which is a harder task than performing reconstruction in the object canonical frame. Nevertheless the cloud transformer managed to correctly use symmetries to recover plausible reconstructions. Here, for one input we visualize how a sphere is progressively morphed into the result. On the left we show the cloud rasterized by four heads within one of the first layers. In the middle, we show the visualization of four heads in the penultimate layer. On the right we show the reconstruction result. Finally, we show the results of the cloud transformer that performs point cloud in painting. We show four results on the incomplete clouds from the popular ShapeNet completion benchmark. 